Good day YouTube. Today we'll be reviewing the Keurig Milk Frother. Um, I've unboxed it, used it a couple times just to kind of learn how to use it. Um, in With the Milk Frother you get the Keurig cup, um, a little base with the power supply, and a lid for it. Okay, so unboxing this you can see that there is um, a couple buttons on here. The first button is if you want to froth the milk hot um, and the bottom button is if you want to froth it cold or at the temperature that your milk is already at. Um, so this froths it takes about two minutes and it's pretty nice. Uh, you can see it's pretty solid. One thing I did notice is when I unbox this it's kind of out around as you can see but it hasn't affected anything. Um, so in here, you can actually see, I don't know if you can see from the video, but there's a min and max line. The max line is for lattes and the min line is for cappuccinos. So you could put, use an espresso um, and mix this with a, this frother and make a cappuccino or anything you'd like. I like to just make it with my coffee just because it kind of gives them milk uh, a lighter fluffier feel so let's get into it so i'm just going to fill mine up to the min line because that's how i like mine the amount of milk and i do like mine warm so i'm just gonna hit the start button and you can hear it let's just you kind of see it mixing in there really nice. Now that does take about two minutes to froth, so we'll just give that a minute. Um, so one thing, reading the instructions, this is not dishwasher safe. You will have to wash this by hand, which is an unfortunate thing, but um, it is a pretty nice frother. A little over the top. You can get it for about 60 bucks. I'll add a link to where you can find it at in the description below the video. So let's just, in the meantime, I have a cup of coffee here. And you can kind of see it just getting fluffy. I don't want to tilt it too much because and it will stop when it's after the two minutes is over with. Okay, and it looks like it stopped. You can kind of just gaze in there. See how it's just a, a real fluffy foam. It's kind of what we want. And I'm just going to pour this in my coffee. I like all that foam. And I like to just give it a quick stir. Stir. Stays pretty foamy. Mm, that's good. Okay. So, uh, if you have any questions, please comment below on the video. I would love to see what kind of questions I didn't answer in the video, and I would be glad to to answer them. Uh, also, if you got a, a lot of um, knowledge out of this video, please subscribe and, and like, and I'll and tell me what you like to. Uh, to know next. I, I would like to do another video in the future on a mocha pot because I do like espresso and I do like that kind of coffee. You could put either coffee grounds in that or 
espresso. Uh, but yeah, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a great day.